What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about an issue on the Galaxy phones that could potentially result in your contacts disappearing from your device, which can be a little scary. I want to show you guys what's going on here. Make sure that you can avoid this issue um, if it's already happened to you. Um, and so you're kind of fully in the know about what's going on. Uh, before we do that, first of all, I want to thank my son, Jonathan. He gave me another nice animal to put in my video today. We've got the uh, gray blue humpback whale over here. And then I also want to remind you guys that if you're interested in saving some money on your wireless service, you can do so with my partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month. And they also have plans that fit everyone's needs out there in terms of data allotments. They have their five gigabyte a month plan for 15 a month, 15 gigabyte a month plan for 20 a month, 20 gigabyte a month plan for 25 a month, and the unlimited plan for 30 a month, which I personally feel is the best value. All the plans come in limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. It's very, very simple to switch to Mint. You can either get an eSIM or a physical SIM. They also send you out a physical SIM tool so that you can pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, and let the savings begin. They did recently increase all of the data allotments for no additional cost on all their plans, and that's what I love about Mint. They give great value to their customers all the time. I've been using them for over eight months exclusively in my Samsung devices in Phoenix, and I absolutely love it. If you guys haven't tried them yet, today is the great day to do so, because if you go to mintmobile.com slash Springer, it's also in the pinned comment description, sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. And in addition to that, I will send you out a free smartphone case of your choice, just like the new Monarch Pro in this khaki green colorway from UAG um, for signing up for a three-month Mint Mobile plan. I'm doing that for thanking my subscribers for trying Mint. MintMobile.com slash Springer to sign up. Get in touch with me via Twitter, on DM, or on email. My email is on my YouTube page, and I'll get you guys out that free case. We do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this contacts disappearing issue. Uh, I originally saw this post over on Sam Mobile, so as always, I like to give credit where credit is due. Here is the article from Sam Mobile. Google account contacts may disappear from your Samsung phone. So basically what's happening here is that Google Play Services is an application on your Samsung device. And it's one that you probably don't notice too much, but it's responsible for doing all the stuff that's related to Google on all Android phones. And of course, I accidentally clicked on the ad here. Um, it does everything that's related to Google on your Samsung phones, runs the Play Store, your Gmail, all that stuff. Um, and with the newest update, which is version 23.20, which isn't quite rolling out yet, I wanted to make this video preemptively so people would know before this update comes out, they've changed the way that contact syncing works on your Android phone. Basically, currently, if your contacts are stored in your Google account and you have them synced to your Samsung device, uh, and then you turn off the contact syncing, the contacts would still stay on your Galaxy device. But with the new update, if you sync your contacts to your Galaxy phone, like my S23 Ultra, and then you turn off contact syncing in your Google account, which some people do once they've synced all the contacts they want, the current contacts you have would also be removed from any Android phones that are tied to the Google account. Um, now the contacts are not permanently deleted. Um, they would come back if you turn syncing back on, but if you want your contacts to sync via Google, which a lot of people like to do this, if you have a lot of Android devices, like a tablet, et cetera, um, if you have multiple phones even like I do, then you need to make sure you have contact syncing enabled, otherwise these are kind of gonna disappear. And this is independent of the Samsung contact syncing on your Samsung account. So first of all, let me show you guys a couple of quick things to check in regards to this. The first thing is you can check and see if you have the newest version of Play Services by going into your apps, scrolling down to where it says Google, they're in alphabetical order, find Google Play Services, Scroll down to the bottom, there's the version number right here at the bottom. Now you see I have 23.18.18. This has not rolled out yet, and I'm actually on the beta channel for Play Services. 23.20 is not rolled out yet to my Galaxy S23 Ultra. So if you're on any version prior to that, this contact syncing thing won't be an issue. But now once you do get the update, if you want to make sure that you do indeed have syncing turned on, you can go back into the settings. I don't know why I left there in the first place. Um, and then you can go into accounts and backup, go to manage accounts, find your appropriate Google account. This is the one that I'm logged into on the phone and then go to sync account. Now you'll see all the things that you're syncing right here and you'll see contacts in particular. 
you want to make sure that contacts in particular is highlighted to make sure that your contacts don't disappear from your Samsung account, Samsung phone going forward after 23.20 of the Play Services update. Now, like I said, if you turn it off, it's not like your contacts are deleted. They're still being stored in the Google Cloud, but then they won't sync to your devices and then you wouldn't be able to access those contacts. So you won't be able to call them, text message them, of course, unless you have memorized their phone number. So this is certainly something that could be alarming. And uh, I figured a lot of people would be interested to know this in case you're someone who does turn off contact syncing later on uh, after you sync your contacts initially to your Samsung device. It's a pretty common thing. A lot of people think that it might save battery life, so they do it for that reason. So just be aware that your contacts would disappear after you get that new Play Services update. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for more Samsung content like this. And again, if you guys are interested in saving some money on your wireless services, you guys can do so by switching to my partners over at Mint Mobile. And again, if you guys are interested in signing up today, you can go to mintmobile.com slash Springer, sign up for any three month Mint Mobile plan, and I will send you out a free smartphone case of your choice as a thank you for trying Mint. Mint is not doing this directly, I'm doing it. Um, it's also in the pinned comment description. And we do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel.